so we have lost our last two games this is a long season but i don't i don't know how many losses we can afford with uh without having to repeat this mode um our last game was bad man they they ran the ball they kind of disrespected us at the end of it they could have let the time run out they ran the ball anyway took it like a million yards right up the middle just killed us so now we have the grizzlies green bay a passing team they play coverage they quarterback through 14 touchdown passes they have a running back over a thousand yards but he never scored super fast receiver super quick 95 speed 100 agility you know their defensive back is quick um but our passing yards colin hedges you see what he's working with not a thousand yards passing yet 11 touchdown passes but was sacked a lot darius anderson on the ground 750 yards 11 rushing touchdowns that's our lead in russia hedges is behind him with 667 dalton hendricks is third in rushing our leading receiver is Davin Cooper, 18 catches, 416 yards, three touchdowns. Hendricks is second in receiving, followed by Woods, Chris Long, and Caden Ashmore. Last on our list. On the defensive side, Ryan Hine leading in tackles, Kevin Young behind him, Roderick Moore, 44 tackles, 12 sacks, always leading us in sacks with one force fumble. And Isaiah Hippard, Ryan Hine, always at the top of the leaderboard in interceptions. Hippard leading by one. These two always competing for most interceptions. They always have their own little race going. But now it is time to take revenge on the league, man. We put our defense on the field first. They kick off return. Took that one back to the 45. Where they would go to work, they tried to run it. No, we are ready for that. That's the one thing I was ready for in this game. Determined not to let nobody run against us. So we forced them into third and long, and they threw a pass, a dangerous one. Surprise hipping and try to pick that one off. So we forced them to force them to punt it away to Ramon Pettit. And Pettit, our fastest player on the team, but he is so trash at returning punts. I'm gonna have to get him from back there. So now our offense takes the field. Caden Ashmore, that was a good play. Good pass from uh, Hedges. Then we get on the ground. But Anderson didn't pick up much. We try to run quick screens. That's old Woods. And he will stop for a yard short. A loss of one yard, I meant. So on third down, Colin Hedges will have to run it. He will make a move. Picks up the first down. Crosses midfield. Crosses the 45. Inside the 40-yard line before he was brought down. And now we go back to the ground. Dalton Hendricks. Eight-yard gain. Look at him rumble. Now, Anderson, he will pick up the first down here. We are just going to run the ball. We're going to drive this thing. Hendricks will pick up a couple here. Second and eight. We will throw it this time. And that, who else? Dalton Hendricks. So, our most dependable receiver. Strongest rusher. Three-yard gain on that play. Second and seven. We want a quick screen. And we could have scored. Nobody was there. They called that down, down by contact. I didn't see anybody touch him. That was a bad call to me. Uh, then we try to run it against. That was a worse. We'll stop behind a line of scrimmage. So on fourth down, we just went for it a little bit. Kind of frustrated, but should have took the points instead because Hedges didn't even get close to the marker. Turnover on down. So on defense, this is third down. We had a chance to get him off the field, and we did. They punted away. Hunter Kastner will field it. Nowhere to go. No blocking. So from the shotgun, the offense comes out. Hedges will get sacked. Eight-yard loss to it. Got there. And now we will stay in the shotgun. Quick throw to Chris Loing. He was near the first down marker. But that will lead to this fourth and two play. Quick throw over the head of Hendricks. Turnover on down. So twice we got turned around the red zone. But on the defense, Isaiah Hipper picks up number 10 on the season so can we get in the end zone now quick throw to cooper 13 yard gain hedges from the shotgun would try to throw it over the middle it was tipped and picked off three times we were denied in the red zone so the defense comes out hip it with the blitz and it is picked off jj wilson will return it back inside the five yard line well anderson will get in the end zone we scored before the half Thought we was about to go in scoreless, but we scored. We gonna uh, the defense gonna pick it up from there. 
Dean Elliott with a forced fumble. That should be number seven. Seven forced fumbles on the season. Caden Lou with the recovery. And now the offense will come back out. Hedge is scanning the field. They're not blitzing, so we have time to throw it. Stelzo Woods ran all the way across the field. Gets to the three-yard line. Well, Darius Anderson will cap it off again. Three-yard touchdown run. Two touchdowns. Seven, seven carries, seven yards, but he have two touchdowns. And special teams. That was Isaiah Hipperfield in that punt at the end of the first half. Less than a minute remaining. Now, Colin Hedges. Will take off, crosses midfield, will cut inside, and just shy of the 40 yard line where Hedges will look, throw across the middle. Davin Cooper. And then we go on the ground. Darius Anderson breaking tackles. He was stumbling, but will stay on his feet and get in the end zone. Three touchdowns at the end of the first half. Natural motion poured it on. Forced them, forced four turnovers. And that's how we got our points in our lead. That would do it every time. Second half, Stezzo Woods. Oh, kickoff didn't get very far. Now, Colin Hedge is quick throw to Dalton Hendricks. Picks up 12. And then we get the running game going with Darius Anderson. They put everybody in the box and they have to pay for that. Because one mistake and they made that mistake. Darius Anderson taking it all the way to the house. 62-yard touchdown run. And he is back in the end zone for his third touchdown. So now Isaiah Hipper picks up number 11. That is his 11 interception. Look at it again. Blackie Chan, man, overthrew his receiver across the middle. And we capitalize on a mistake. Dalton Hendricks out in front picking up that block. He sprung Anderson on this run, too. So this is touchdown number four. No stranger to the end zone. This one went, to, went for 54. Now, Chan will fumble, lose the football. Look who scoops it up, Hunter Kastner. I don't even know how he got in the backfield. You can see it right here. Chan lost the ball. That was Dean Elliott. If they give him that one, that's eight forced fumbles. And Kastner came from, I don't know, he came from out of nowhere. Scooped that up, ran it back, gave us more points, and now... We forced them to punt it again. Cast the field that one didn't. Probably only got a yard. So second and nine, we run the ball. Dalton Hendricks, look at him, punish the defensive back. 17-yard gain. That's his longest run. And on third and six, Hendricks, look at the strength, pushing forward. Nine-yard gain. Then on fourth and four, we try to run that quick screen again. We did get him, but no, the defense was there turnover on down that's like the fourth time so back on defense we will get an interception and that is jj wilson again his second pick of the game jj wilson i always talk about him my uh, linebacker he get he get a lot of interceptions so on third down we will take a sack right there but we go we roll the dice fourth and 17 a wild throw and that's another another drive that's like five that we could have scored that was an extra five touchdowns would have been over 100 points if we would have just scored on every possession. As you see, J.J. Wilson getting a sack now. That give us the ball back. Hunter Kasner, he's had a little trouble fielding the ball, so you try to reverse the field now, and Kasner looking for a block. He will take it to the outside, but only getting back to about the 15-yard line where the offense will come out. Hedges evades a sack. Turns it upfield, gets the first down in a 15-yard game. So we run that stretch play again, looking for Hendricks to get out in front. He stood with his block and sprung Anderson to the outside. Darius Anderson again makes a man miss and will get in the end zone. This is touchdown number five or number six. I think that's number five. That one went for 68. Then Chan will make an overthrow. And Hahn got his uh, ninth interception on the season. Look at it again. Blackie Chan with an overthrow. Oh, he threw it right to Hahn. That was an easy one. And that will lead us to this fourth and four play. We are on offense. We're trying to get the quick throw off to Dalton Hendricks. And we did, man. Look at the break tackle. Look at the strength. You can't tackle him once he get going in the open field. And we get the flag for uh, roughing the passer. We go, of course, we're going to decline that. That corner didn't have no chance. 
Look at the strength. Watch the safety come over. He gonna get it to number 38. I think that's his second time getting trucked by Hendrix. So on defense, the defense just not done. They will throw it downfield and JJ Wilson gets number three. Interception. That's his third interception. That should give him seven on the season. He goes in front of Kasna. And right behind uh, Ryan Hine. Ryan Hine has nine interceptions. But now we, would tr we have the lead. We have the game. But we try to throw it downfield. That's the one thing Hedges struggles with the most. Throwing it downfield. All his passes fall short. And end up getting picked off. But we won the game exactly the way I wanted it. 56 to nothing. We came out. The defense did their thing. I expected them to play big, and they did. Forced nine turnovers. We need to do this again. We use Hend Hendricks at wide receiver a lot. I think we're going to do that the rest of the season because he's our most reliable receiver, especially in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Had just completed 70% of his passes. That was great. Anderson Pitt finally had another big game, 230 yards rushing, six rushing touchdowns, along with some help from Hedges and Hendricks, 68 yards from Hedges, 65 from, uh, from Hendricks, that was big, we controlled the running game, didn't start off good, but man, we sure heated up at the end of that first half, Hendricks led the team in receiving with five catches, 50 yards, and that touchdown you saw at the end of the game on tap. On defense, Hippert had six tackles. We had some forced fumbles. J.J. Wilson had three interceptions. Hippert had two to push him up to 11. Wilson has seven now. Now you see our game, we uh we got a lot of money for that game. Touchdown bonus. Okay, so we up to 12,000 now, over 12,000. We got the Wranglers up next. I'm gonna show y'all some of the players I've been uh, looking at. And free agency, I put them on my short list. I put some receivers up there. Mostly ones with high agility. Because if you don't know, like, backbreaker, acceleration, and agility go hand in hand. So, especially if you play without the patch, you need your receivers to run routes as fast as possible. Our offensive line kind of like, they suspect. So, if a receiver could get open faster, that would be helpful. So, I've been looking at receivers. I've been flirting with the idea of kick returner, but after last week, they kind of showed my, my defense is they're a lot weaker, and I don't think they can carry us like that. So I was looking at defensive end. I'm looking at defensive tackle. I'm looking at linebacker, especially. Uh, this, is, this was appealing because my defense is a finesse D, but we don't have a lot of strength and power. Porter Rowe will be good for that. I can use him at defense end and linebacker. Uh, but for Dell Cobbs, he will be even a better pick because he has that 80 speed and a 92 strength. He can kind of do both. Uh, it, I wouldn't. I would be upset if I had to take a kicker. That's why I just really stopped kicking field goals. Our kicker is trash. Uh, I'm looking at quarterback also. Gunna, Gunna Dago got a uh, 100 focus, so he's real accurate. And he's still mobile. I can still probably escape some sacks, but I'm looking at that accuracy. That's appealing. I have a running back out there, too. I wasn't really planning on using him at running back. Mostly, like, audible. Call my audibles and use him in the slot as slot receiver. It may be running a little bit, but that's just ideas I'm putting out there. Trying to find more ways to score. Um... A linebacker I spoke about that this is a good pick Isaiah Moss I'm hoping I can get all three of these linebackers actually um Moss 85 speed he's aware he's strong the same thing as Cardoza he has 85 speed 92 strength he got the awareness you know fair agility same thing with Nelson so if I can get even two of those linebackers cuz I am I'm pretty happy with Wilson. Wilson gonna force, he gonna get some interceptions. So if I could put two more linebackers out there, or if I get three, I'll run the three, four. I would. But I think that's it. Linebacker, running back, I will add a couple of uh, offensive linemen to this, uh, cause especially in the inside. My guards are pretty weak. 
they have like 75 strength something like that they're not good in pass blocking either so guards center i'll be looking at all of that so that's it i've been um scout looking at the player trying to boost this team up next week we will if we come up with a win we'll have enough money to sign a gold star player so that's what i'm gonna try to do but thanks for watching this i will see y'all in the next episode